Well, now for a bit of chic, mm -hmm. designers uh, uh, had 52 catwalks and 20 presentations begun London's Fashion Week. That's right, but surprises shocked the stage as fashion met politics. Alex Jones reports. Barbados-born superstar singer Rihanna made her distinctive debut in one of the most highly anticipated events at London's Fashion Week. Her styles hit the runway with the support of a British high street retailer. My relationship started with River Island right here in London, so it was only appropriate and London Fashion Week is something I have never done, like I've never even attended it. So. My first Fashion Week in London is my show, and that's amazing. Rihanna's model strutted her boyish casual designs down the catwalk with denim tank tops, slouchy jeans, thigh-high slits, figure-hugging dresses, and monochrome skirts. And others would love to have their name written on the designs. I thought it was really 90s, really cared back. A lot of pieces that I'd buy. I love the jumpsuit. I love the printed hooded top. I love the whole styling of it. And I thought it was hair back enough that you could put your own twist on it. So yeah, it's great. But not everyone raised eyebrows for the latest fashions. Vivian Westwood made a political point when she modeled her own T-shirt of the WikiLeaks founder. I'm a big supporter of Julian Assange. And um, he needs support because there's a confusion from feminists. And he's an incredible hero because he has exposed the lies of the war mafia people. Westwood teamed purples and teals with neutral tones of her flowing skirts, simple knitwear, and zebra print coats. The great and good have come to watch the five-day event. Cameras spotted Vogue editor Anna Wintour and model Alexa Chung at the event. London Fashion Week will finish up tomorrow with its final 15 designers. Alex Jones, Arise News.